Well, here's the historic Flavel House in Astoria. It was owned by Captain George Flavel, who's the one that built it. It was built in the 1870s, I believe. The neat old house. It's well worth the tour to go through it. I've been through it several times. And uh, the building was going to be destroyed in the 1950s. It was going to be burned down and the property used as a parking lot for the courthouse that's behind me. And fortunately, there was some four-sided people that preserved it and it's now a museum at Clatsop County here in Astoria. The interior is being restored back to its original. They've been able to carefully remove the layers of paint and wallpaper down to the original and so they know what the original colors of the rooms were and it's also furnished with the uh, furniture of the time. This is the old original county jail. It says it dates from 1914 to 1976. I remember we would drive by here at night sometimes and on this left side over here you could see somebody sitting in the jail cells inside there. Uh, I guess that would be cruel and inhuman punishment now to have them in a jail like that. But anyway, that's the old Cl Clatsop County Jail. Well, we're here on Commercial Street in downtown Astoria. Looks like we got to stop for a red light. Got Santa Claus in his summer dress. They're going to cross the street. We're on the corner of 11th and Commercial here in downtown Astoria. This is the main drag through town. Liberty Theater up here it used to be the main theater in town. It was a movie theater. It's, it still uses a theater, I guess. I remember in 1956, went and saw the movie Ten Commandments with Charlton Heston in the Liberty Theater. And the tall building here on the right is the old John Jacob Astor Hotel. I believe it's now apartments of some kind or another. And I'm just going by the penny store. It's been there for as long as I can remember. Coming down the end of the one-way streets here, we're coming out. We're at uh, 15th and Commercial. This building on the right here used to be the firehouse, and Ruby's Appliances used to be Astoria Public Market. We'll swing in here to the Maritime Museum. This is the lightship Columbia. It used to be anchored off the mouth of the Columbia River served as a kind of a floating lighthouse for many many years before it was decommissioned and replaced by a buoy you can see up here is the radar and on the other mast you look up here and if you look real carefully you can see the lights from the lighthouse part of the ship it was replaced by a buoy which is down here in front of it. This round thing with the stick in the middle and had a radar buoy on radio buoy on it as well as some lights. They didn't have any anybody manning it. It was self-sufficient. So that's the buoy that replaced the light ship. I think I'd rather have the light ship though.
and looking out off of the back of the light chip there's some ships out there in the river they're all at anchor when we came down earlier today the same ships were facing the opposite direction the tide is coming up so the ships have been forced around the other direction I'm not sure how well this is going to work I'm shooting through glass this is a Coast Guard rescue boat at the Maritime Museum here in Astoria and they have it set up like it's cresting a wave I'm outside the building as I mentioned shooting through glass this is actually quite an impressive display that they have of this rescue boat This is looking from the Maritime Museum up the hill. There's the column up there. So we're down in downtown Astoria, kind of the east end of downtown Astoria. And I'm standing in front of the Maritime Museum. The building in the distance right here with the white windows is the old passenger station from when the railroad still ran passenger service down here and that was the last passenger train scheduled was by the Spokane, Portland and Seattle in 1953. The Lewis and Clark Express also came down in the summer of 2004, 5 and 6 and it terminated there at the old Astoria Passenger Depot.